Hi friends, Michelle here with Evicurian Delights and today I'm going to show you how to make my delicious banana bread. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is sift our all-purpose flour. I'm using one and three-fourths cups of organic all-purpose flour by King Arthur. You can use whatever type of flour you prefer. I just happen to like King Arthur and I like to sift it. If you, if you don't want to sift it, you don't have to do that. And I'm going to sift all of my dry ingredients. So now I'm going to go ahead and add one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder and three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So all of those ingredients I'm going to just sift into my bowl. Helps get any lumps out that are in the flour. So that's my dry ingredients. I'm going to put that off to the side. Next, I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of sugar. I'm just using a granulated sugar. If you want to use a fine baker sugar, that's that's absolutely acceptable. To that, I'm going to add one third cup of butter. Some recipes call for shortening. I prefer to use butter. If you are going to use shortening, just try to use a high ratio shortening. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this. I'm going to just cream it. I want to have nice creamed butter and sugar. To this, I'm going to add my two eggs. I'm going to do that one at a time and incorporate it into my sugar and butter. You could also use a KitchenAid. Go ahead and drop in my second egg and blend that in. I'm going to go ahead and set my mixture off to the side and I'm going to just mash up my bananas. I'm just opting to use my hand mixer to do that and I've got about three ripe bananas, medium bananas. If you like it super banana-y, I put up to four bananas in this recipe. So I'm just going to get those all nice and blended together. Next, I'm going to add in my special ingredient, which is Madagascar Bourbon Vanilla. I really love this. It just adds deliciousness to it. You could also use vanilla bean paste. Um, sometimes I also add a splash of orange juice. I don't have any today, so I'm not using orange juice, but you can certainly add a splash of orange juice in there as well. Mix that up nice and well. I'm going to add in some milk. I'm using two tablespoons of 1% milk. You can certainly use non-fat milk or you could use, you know, whole milk. Now we're going to take our creamed sugar and butter and we're going to start to add our dry ingredients. So we're going to add this a bit at a time until it's incorporated. And we're going to alternate that with our wet ingredients. So we're gonna add a little bit of flour and then we're gonna add a little bit of our banana mixture and keep blending that together. And we're just gonna keep alternating that. Dry and then wet, dry and then wet. Once we get this all mixed up, We'll go ahead and put it in a greased bread pan. I use glass bread pans. Uh, you could also, another uh, variation of this is that you could also add a quarter cup of chopped pecans or walnuts if you like nuts. I don't care for nuts in my bread, so I don't add that, but you are more than welcome to add that as well.
Now that I've got my batter all mixed up, I'm gonna take a Ziploc baggie and some butter and I'm just going to grease my pan. So this is just a quick way um, to do that and to not get your hands all yucky. So I'm gonna grease that up and then I'll just take my little pastry brush too and make sure I get into all the little nooks and crannies. Once I've got it all buttered up, I'm gonna go ahead and add my batter. So this makes one loaf. Um, you can certainly double it. I've doubled this recipe before with no problems to make two loaves. And you're going to want to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for an hour or until your toothpick comes out clean. This is a delicious recipe and it is great for breakfast, it's great for a snack, it's great toasted or just straight up sliced. So I hope that you enjoy this recipe for delicious banana pudding.